Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 780 is here, and it's another donation unboxing video. I'm going to show you everything I received in the month of April 2019. And I want to remind everyone, no one should feel obligated to send anything to me. If you would like to donate something to the channel, the post office box will be on your screen right now. Uh, but of course, no one should ever feel obligated to send anything. I just appreciate you being here and watching the videos. Uh, if you do send something to me though uh, I will get it on camera and show everyone what I got and uh, I do have a few things here that I received in April uh, I want to show these to you um, three of these boxes were sent by uh, one person Brandon Knight and we got uh, one uh, envelope here from someone else so I'm gonna go through these and uh, just show you what I got there is one donation that I won't be showing you because it's an empty box um, it's an empty box because this wasn't actually for me. Um, Brandon Knight sent a, um, a donation that was actually intended for uh, one of our regular viewers, Green Yeti. Uh, and so I passed that on to Green Yeti. Uh, so uh, that's just the box. I reboxed it uh, into a new box and sent it on. Uh, so I hope Green Yeti enjoyed that. And uh, thanks, you guys, for helping out your fellow uh, fans and your fellow collectors. That's uh, really cool, uh, especially helping someone who's getting started on collecting. And that package has been sent on to its intended recipient. Okay, let's dig into this stuff. I did already open everything. I uh, cut the tape on everything so it'd be easy to take out here on camera. Uh, these three are from Brandon Knight. Uh, this one is from Jesse uh, Kassatz. Kassatz. I apologize if I'm mis mispronouncing your name. Jesse. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one first um, and because I can kind of, I tore it open and I can kind of see what it is and I want to show you. Check this out. This, let me, okay, let me take the whole thing out. We have some paper. But this is, oh, you got to see that. Hold on, let me zoom in. This is the antenna for the 1990 Hammer, um, the G.I. Joe vehicle. And this is an extremely difficult part to find. Um, it looks like it has the, um, uh, the little knob here uh, broken off, but I actually have that knob uh, because these things break frequently and a lot of times they break and leave the knob inside the vehicle. So I actually have a couple knobs that were broken off in some of my other hammer shells. Uh, and so uh, this about completes the hammer for me. I actually, I'm gonna go get the hammer so I can uh, show you real quick. Uh, I'm gonna pause this just for a second, I'll be right back. And I'm back with the hammer uh, and uh, this is something that uh, I've worked quite some time to complete. Um, and this antenna, which kind of goes like right there, um, is uh, should be the final part. Um, there is it comes with it has like a little ammunition belt, um, and I know I have that because somebody sent it to me. But uh, I've, I've, I need to find it. Apparently, I've put it in the wrong box or something. So I need to find where I uh, put that thing. Uh, and then I think this guy is complete. I've been wanting to complete this thing for such a long time. I've been wanting to review it. It's a really cool vehicle. Uh, lots of parts, lots of features. Um, so uh, Jesse, thank you for this. This helps me with this big guy. Okay, I should have uh, finished looking in the envelope because he actually has the uh, broken off tab uh, right there for this. So I will do a repair job on this. Um, I have an idea of how I can repair that so it'll be uh, good and solid and it uh, will stay together. Uh, so uh, uh, Jesse also wrote uh, quite a lengthy letter. Uh, I'm not going to read this entire letter um, on camera right now. Uh, I'm going to save this. Uh, just let everybody know, once again, I keep all of these. Every letter that you send me, I, I have a special envelope for them. Uh, they all go in there, and I'm going to keep them forever. They mean, uh, they mean as more to me, really, than the toys, is the connection with you guys. Um, and Jesse really, um, really had a lot to say here. So uh, thank you, Jesse. Thank you for this. And thank you for helping me get this guy uh, completed and ready to review. Okay, um, I guess I will start with this box first. I don't want to show everyone Brandon's uh, address. I did open, uh, cut the box open, uh, but I haven't seen what's inside. So let's see what Brandon Knight sent. Um, he sent uh, something that is bubble wrapped. 
Uh, let's see. Some oh, bubble wrap. I can never have too much bubble wrap. Thank you, Brandon. You are the best. Um, oh, okay. Oh, ho, ho. okay. This we have. We have a figure here. This is Ozone. Uh, the I think the second version of Ozone. Very colorful. Check that out with file card. <clears throat> Looks to be complete, um, which I always love because, of course, I need it complete with the file card to be ready to review. Uh, so that's one we'll have to get to in the near future. And I just saw a carded figure in here. And I think I know what it is. Um, <laughs> oh, Brandon. Um, all right, you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Brandon sent... It's it's one of the Star Brigade aliens. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It it's carcass. It's carcass. They named him Carcass. Um wow. Um now I, I think everybody knows how I feel about these aliens in the Star Brigade line. Um but uh, despite that, you know, uh, I'm actually really thrilled uh, to get this because of course I do need to review these and uh, they can be a little bit difficult to find. I'm not going to take this one off the card. I'm going to keep this as a carded example. Um, so I'll still need to get a loose one in order to be able to review it. But uh, that is just that is just amazing. Now you can <laughs> you can see uh, Carcass as he appeared on the pegs in uh, whatever year it was like 1993 or whatever. Um, so Wow. Uh, thank you, Brandon. I got a kick out of that. Oh, Brandon has a letter. Uh, the letter was under Carcass. Oh, and there's a um, figure stand here. Oh, and I see comic books. All right, let me look at this first. Um, <clears throat> Brandon says, Dear HCC788, thanks again for the fun and amazing videos you keep making. Uh, thank you for, for enjoying them. Let me back that up just a second. I don't need a close-up for me reading a letter. Uh, the outfits you come with, up with are uh, wakey fun uh, amusing. Okay, got it. Uh, the Tuesday live stream are, uh, are great and fun to be a part of, and it's a great way for us to, uh, to get together and share our love for G.I. Joe. I do very much enjoy the Tuesday live streams. Uh, keep up the great work and keep coming up with new content. You have a great talent and imagination. Thank you very much. Um, if you like to go to another JoeCon, there is one coming up in California. Oh, yeah, this event is called the SoCal uh, Joe Show. I am familiar with that show. If I were a little closer, I would, uh, would definitely consider going. Um, Sunday, May 5th. Uh, oh, we're, we're, uh, we're past that now. Sorry. Um, uh, pens and pockets. It's got some information about the SoCal uh, Joe Show. Um, so, yeah, Joe Fest is coming up soon. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Hope to see you there. Uh, so thank you, Brandon. Thank you for that. Um, now, uh, I see under the letter, again, I'm keeping this, keeping all of the letters, and I see some comic books. And one comic book right, I see right off the top, it's G.I. Joe. <laughs> it's G.I. Joe uh, from DC Comics. This is... Um, obviously, this is not G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. Um, I gotta, I gotta open this up. Uh, and I, I had some awareness of these comics, but I've never actually read one. So thank you, Brandon. Uh, this is, oh, I need my glasses. Um, uh, looks like publishing date is June uh, or January to February 1965. So this came out uh, like uh, right after. Uh, the uh, the original 12-inch G.I. Joe figures uh, were first released by Hasbro. So um, that is uh, really cool. So it's Showcase Presents G.I. Joe, but not the G.I. Joe that we know, uh, a much older G.I. Joe. And I'll be very interested in reading that. I really will. Um, we've got uh, DC Comics, uh, Blitzkrieg, and uh, Enemy Ace and uh, the losers so some basically some war comics um gi combat i was always a fan of gi combat i would pick up issues of this um semper fi oh i forgot about this series semper fi this uh marine corps i did have this series when i was a kid i totally forgot about it um you got issue one two uh three all right one two and three 
Uh, it's Semper Fi Tales of the Marine Corps. I totally do remember that. Um, hold on, I gotta open this too. Um, probably didn't intend for me to just uh, pull the comics out right here on camera, but man, I haven't seen this since I was a, a kid. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Managing editor Larry Hama. Uh, he didn't write it. Uh, written by uh, Michael Palladino. But uh, I knew Larry Hama had something to do with it. Um, John Severin, artist. It, this is this is cool. Uh, I will look at that. So thank you, Brandon, for the comic books. Um, Semper Fi, War is Hell, uh, Captain, Captain Savage and his Leatherneck Raiders, Marvel Comics. Um, so I will, I will enjoy those. Thank you very much for the comics, Brandon. Okay, so we've got another box by, uh, from Brandon, I should say. Uh, and it's got, like, sections. Um, and it has what looks like, uh, carded action figures. But these, the boxes are too small to fit, like, a G.I. Joe or Star Wars carded action figure. So I'm kind of curious what's in here. Um, it was kind of difficult to get the end of the box cut open, so I'm going to have to uh, take this out carefully, uh, if I can. Here we go. Uh, I don't want to damage it. Oh, <laughs> I just saw the company name on here, pulling it out slightly, and now I know what it is. Um, check this out. Oh yeah, it, it's the core. It's the core carded. Look at that. Look at that. I haven't seen that in so long. Wow. The core figures, uh, a two-pack, uh, carded, and it's like a long, thin card. I totally forgot they did this. I, I do now remember. Okay, this one in here is a little tighter squeeze, so I'm trying to be very careful with it to not damage it as I pull it out. And it's, yeah, it's more of that awesome stuff. Um, oh, it's, it's, okay. It's the one that I think looks a whole lot like um, Shipwreck uh, version two, uh, the Stinky Diver Shipwreck. Um, yeah, we used to get these, we used to use them for customizing all the time. Uh, Two-man assault team. That is so cool. I never thought I'd see these again in my life. And that is it for that box, but what an amazing box. These are just so cool. Oh, this one is, um, it looks like the uh, bubble on this one is slightly cracked. I hope it didn't do that in shipping. Uh, but um, there you go. Uh, the Core by Lannard Toys. Um, that is incredible. Um, I'm blown away by that. I, I really am. Thank you very much, Brandon. Uh, and we still got one more box, so let's see what's in there. Okay, this is the last box. And right on the top, we have a letter from Brandon. He says, I can't believe it's been five years since you started your review channels. Me either. The time has flown. Uh, so many adventures and friends made along the way. Very true. I hope this goes uh, on for another five years or more. Looks like it probably will. Uh, so many to uh, toys and comics still to review. Yes, indeed. Uh, keep up the great work. Never give up and never surrender. Uh, in this package are some figures from the 90s. You still need to get through many 90s figures. Very true. At least these are some of the cool figures from the 90s. Also in this package are some superhero comics. Oh, good. I, I do like superhero comics, too. I know, I know you're not much into superhero comics, but these are written by Larry Hama. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. Well, I'll enjoy them because they're lit, written by Larry Hama. Um, but I, I do like superhero comics. Now, uh, as a kid, it did take me a while to get used to superhero comics after kind of cutting my teeth on G.I. Joe. Uh, but I, I did come to appreciate superhero comics eventually. Um, and so let's see what Brandon has here. More bubble wrap. This is the best part. I can never have too much bubble wrap. I totally do recycle this stuff. Um, and so, um, oh, I can see... Yeah, I can see right here. Uh, I'll take it out so you can see. Um, it's Stalker, and I forget what which one of the um, the sound effect uh, talking uh, uh, sets uh, was it Talking Battle Commanders? Is that the one this guy was part of with the big permanent backpack? Let me see if it works. 
Oh, the battery's... It, it's trying to make sound, but the battery's too low. It's okay. I know how to replace the batteries on these. But there, you, there's Stalker, of course, my favorite character, and a really cool version of Stalker. Very interesting. Um, so we will definitely look at this figure uh, in the future. He's got his accessories in there. Uh, so that's a 90s figure we still need to get to. Um, more bubble wrap. Aha! Yes, 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 indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, it is General Hawk. Um, hold on, let me pull him out. It is, here we go, it is the, uh, the General Hawk figure that's, uh, that's made to look like Buzz Lightyear. And he's got his um, flying wings and his helmet in here, and I see a file card right there. So this guy may be ready to review as well, so uh, that is awesome. Uh, I know a lot of fans uh, really like this version of General Hawk, so uh, very cool to have that. Um, and uh, right here I see a figure. Um, oh, this is cool. All right, now this is Metalhead, but there's very, so, something very special about this Metalhead figure. Uh, Metalhead, of course, being uh, Destro's uh, anti-tank guy. Uh, let me get this guy out. Hold on, I got to show you. He's got his backpack on, so he doesn't fit. And there we go. All right, don't want to lose anything. In fact, let me take the backpack off uh, because um, this metal head has these two little knobs on his legs intact. Um, I have picked up several metal head figures trying to get one that has uh, these little knobs that are not broken off. So uh, this is awesome. This is actually a big help, uh, bigger than you know. I've been trying to get this figure unbroken for actually quite some time. So that is so cool. Uh, thank you very much for that, Brandon. That is very, very helpful. Uh, so Metalhead. And I can, I can see the uh, superhero comics and I can already tell uh, what one of them is. Let's back out a little bit. Um, we have, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, th these will be great, these will be great, these will be great. Uh, it's, it's Wolverine. It's Wolverine, this is the Larry Hama uh, era, when he was writing Wolverine, oh uh, yeah, and Sabretooth. Oh, here's another war comic, Army at War. Uh, but yes, um, yeah, I know we love Larry Hama for G.I. Joe, and we should, uh, but um, uh, it should not be forgotten that um, in like the height of the 90s boom uh, and the X-Men craze, uh, Larry Hama was writing Wolverine, Sabretooth, and just uh, several Wolverine books. And you can see the artwork. Uh, looks like uh, Mark Silvestri there. Uh, you can see the artwork. It very much is in that, you know, hyper detailed uh, 90s style that was so popular at the time. So, um, yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. I will enjoy those. These are amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who sent in stuff last month. I really appreciate it. I don't know if I will receive anything in May. Uh, if I do, I'll do another one of these videos and I'll show you all what I get. Uh, and if I don't, then I won't. And it, that's just kind of how it works. But uh, again, I'm just really happy to have you here. Um, these letters that you write to me, uh, these mean the world to me. Um, and you know, it, it's kind of a lost art. People don't write letters to each other uh, anymore. But uh, I'm extremely lucky in that I get letters from you, like actual handwritten letters. Um, and that's pretty extraordinary for this day and age. Um, so thank you uh, for that. Um, if you would like to send something to the channel, if you'd like to donate a toy or comics or things like that, um, the uh, P.O. box will be on your screen once again right now. Uh, but please remember, you don't have to send anything. I'm just happy to have you here. Um, we've been doing this for five years. We'll be doing it probably for five more. Um, and I hope you um, are. I hope you join us on that journey. It uh, it's going to be eventful, I think. So.
Uh, thanks for this. Thanks for everyone. I guess I'll, I'll sign off now. I'll see you soon with a G.I. Joe toy review, uh, maybe a comic book review, you know, fun stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys soon, and uh, thanks for watching. Remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, and, you know, and, and Wolverine is Wolverine, too.